Hello everyone. So it's me Annie and once again I'm back with the learning series of seven habits of highly effective people. So you might have missed me because um, I'm coming back on my video after a long time and same was here. So uh, once again we are going to learn about uh, seven habits of highly effective people and finally we are going to learn the very first habit and guess what is that yes that is proactiveness but before uh, we talk about proactiveness let's talk about some important terms and some more important details which is going to make it easy uh, for us to understand about this important habit which is proactiveness so i am going to ask you a few of the questions but before that i am going to request you to do a little exercise uh, just stand in the corner of the room and uh, uh, try to separate yourself and I, uh, you know separate yourself and uh, behave or think yourself like someone else and let's uh, ask yourself a few of the question that what are you uh, thinking right now what is your mood and what are your plans uh, you know to do uh, in the future so for answering these questions, uh, what your mind is going to do? Yes, your mind is going to do two tasks. Uh, the number one task is that your mind is going to collect some information and the data. And meanwhile, your mind is also going to, you know, gather the information, evaluate and accumulate it uh, to explain it to me in the better way. So this is all natural and this is all human the other creations on the world uh, cannot do that animals cannot do that because uh, human are actually built and made in certain way that uh, we can change and uh, we can act in the certain way and this is how actually uh, we learn from our experiences and based on that experiences we uh, change our habits and we can also uh, learn some important habits and new habits and all this is called what yes this is called self-awareness self-awareness is a very very powerful tool uh, through self-awareness we can understand our behaviors we can understand our attitude and we can understand that how other people are behaving and how they are reacting and what is the reason about that so once again it helps us in strengthening our social bondings and uh, relationships uh, in the society in the family so um, apart from this self awareness there is also an important term which is called social mirroring uh, what is this social mirroring actually this social mirroring is that how the society and the other people see us and they have some image and impressions about that, us for example uh, sometimes some people say that you are always late uh, you are looking smart you are extraordinary and something else so this is what uh, this is actually how people uh, think about us and this is more like uh, you know uh, perceptions or projections actually this is more like a projection uh, rather than reflection in the reflection whatever we have done people think about it and they uh, you know uh, relate some Im impressions or images about us but uh, perception is something action of the current uh, paradigm social paradigm actually tells us that most of the time uh, we are determined by the conditions and the conditionings so there are three types of social map in which uh, you know different social uh, paradigms are determined the very first of them is genetic so most of the times you know different cost of people are perceived in certain way and uh, uh, some of the perceptions are attached with them and few of the cost uh, about few of the cost people say that they are overly anger and uh, they behave aggressively and they have uh, aggressive attitude and there is an other uh, you know determine and that is called psychic what is this psychic determine actually this psychic determine is all about our previous uh, experiences and behaviors and through our previous experiences 
we learn about things and according to the situations and the conditions uh, we change our behaviors and we act in certain uh, way and there is very very important determinant as well and that is third of the type and which is called uh, environmental determinant environment has also a very important role uh, you know in uh, building the behavior and the personality of anyone so i am going to talk about uh, one of the story of franklin uh, which he, uh, in which he shared about his uh, you know tragic story that uh, how he was built um, in the uh, conditions and uh, based on different theories and uh, uh, you know different psychic conditions he was uh, living there according to the theory whatever environment you are going to provide to the child uh, the child is going to behave in certain way and his uh, you know personality is going to build according to that so franklin was actually put into that uh, camp and in that camp he lost his parents uh, his wife and his brother only his um, you know sister was actually uh, saved and um, uh, he was also went through um, you know big torture and when one day he was uh, you know going through a very painful situation and under torture uh, he shared with his students when he came out of that, uh, you know, that camp that uh, the freedom, the freedom is unlimited uh, despite all the conditions and all the circumstances. A person has, a, you know, capacity to go above and beyond and, uh, you know, select um, from the stimulus and uh, from the, you know, uh, from the stimulus and the response so it depends upon us that how much uh, freedom uh, we have in our mind and what we are going to select so if we are going to perceive ourselves as a good person if we are going to perceive as a, us as a positive person if we are going to uh, you know perceive ourselves as a successful person then definitely we are going to behave in certain way and we are going to uh, you know change ourselves our conditions and according to that we are going to uh, bring some powerful uh, change in our life so uh, we will be learning a lot about um, the very first habit and which is called proactiveness i believe that uh, through this video we have built upon some information and we have learned about uh, self-awareness and also uh, we have learned that how uh, we can uh, you know select between the stimulus and the response and which is definitely uh, going to help us in learning uh, the seven habits of highly effective people in the better way so once again thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video till that time take care of yourself and allah